Hey YouTube, I'm just gonna quickly say, I don't like making this content. I don't like it, but I feel like I need to right now. I feel like if I didn't explain how I'm feeling right now, I'm gonna be just be incredibly disingenuous to the rest of the content I'm gonna be making prior to this event. And I want you guys to know exactly how me, and this isn't just me, this is the entire community feels this way. Everybody have spoken to feels exactly the same as this. But Gearbox owes us an apology. This DLC is pathetic. And that's being polite, honestly. This is not okay. And if you want to know why I feel that way, let me just give you a quick list. Just a quick little list of what I jutted down after my 13 hour stream yesterday, right? I streamed 13 hours. This is just the bugs that I found, okay? Just what I found, all right? You can shoot yourself in the back with Arty Ice Beard now. Gilded House, you're nice. Little uh, yellow Titan enemy that comes out from the uh, special pillar on stage one. That guy, you can just shoot while frozen now. That's cool, right? Doesn't matter if you freeze him, he'll <laughs> do whatever he wants. Like, not like in the way that he can't be frozen. He's frozen and still shoots. Uh, Arty Spear has insane knockback just sometimes. Though audio is completely stuffed. Uh, it sounds like you have popcorn in your ears if you have a plasma shrimp or like any sort of band proccing goes insane. Multi shop, shipping request forms, and adaptive chests all have the items blacked out so you can't see where they are. Phase 4 Mythics won't die if you have a warped echo. Sometimes, sometimes they'll die, but sometimes they won't. They removed host skipping, which is the most tone deaf thing I've ever heard in my life. They, can, they brought, I guess, the merging of the PC code, whatever it is. Uh, <sighs> that's such a, a community accumulated thing, that one really hurts. They ruined pot rolling. They made it easier to roll pots, but somehow worse. You can just roll them by running into them, but you can't go uphill now. So it's worse, but easier. Good job on that one. Uh, Merc Blinding Assault doesn't work properly anymore unless you have your, your FPS set to 30 and then you can like maybe get it to work if you spam shift fast enough. They removed a random pillar out of the Mythics Arena. Just run, just, just one. Don't know why. Mythics PC audio is completely out of sync. Acrid Leap doesn't hit enemies anymore, just bounces off of them. Loader M1 is vertical now instead of horizontal, which is weird. Loader Grapple is frame rate dependent, so if you put it on 30, you move really slow. You put it uncapped, you will shoot to the moon in one swing. Seeker, the revived character, doesn't revive people anymore. She, sometimes she will. Sometimes, if you're lucky, if you like hold your tongue in the right position and put your foot out and tap your head twice, maybe you'll get a revive. But I was on Carpa Dio and Race yesterday and I died on stage two, it was lag. Before you say anything, I died a lag. <laughs> and uh, Race was spamming Meditate, and just randomly 10 minutes later, when they weren't doing it anymore, I just came back to life. Just came back to life, randomly. Like, oh, I'm back now? All right, cool, that's awesome. Egg is completely broken again, so the camera just detaches, and it goes back about 30 meters backwards. You can't uh, see Chef's Cleavers. Why are Chef's Cleavers so small? And why do you have to click to bring them back? Like, there's so many things wrong with Chef's Cleavers. Like, why? One, put a highlight around the cleaver because late stages, enemies everywhere, effects everywhere. You can't see your cleaver. You don't know where it is. Like, and you've got to click to bring it back. So if you click too fast, did it hit that enemy out there? Did it not hit the enemy back there? I have no idea. Why did they make it a double click? Just send it out a predetermined length and bring it back. If it, if it sat out there and did damage, that'd be cool. But you throw it out, it spins there and doesn't do anything. They've just given us an extra button press for no reason to make it harder to hit things and know if things are being hit. It makes no sense. Uh, enemies just spawn after TP now sometimes. That's fun as well. Just sometimes randomly after the TP, they will spawn, which obviously isn't meant to happen. Uh, Chef shoots his, si his fire sideways. If you're like aiming at an enemy and you strafe left, he'll shoot to the left, which I guess makes sense. But can we just make it shoot forward where we're aiming like we can strafe left without turning our body right like that's easy enough to do uh if you check the inventory mid game it just cranks your volume to 11 by the way your volume will go from like two to like peak so if you want to check inventory don't do that i guess when you have an infusion you actually can't tell how much your health you have because your health bar is the same color as your health draining that's cool so you just gotta look at your numbers and hope they're not zero and just pray that you're gonna survive because you literally can't see your health because they've implemented an entire new system for that. For no reason, It was if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It d didn't need fixing, it was fine how it was. Elites are everywhere now. I don't know if that's just me, but they're everywhere. There's elites everywhere. There's too many elites. Xbox can't even launch. And then if you manage to launch, I think if you play, was it if you play co-op, you just lose your data, your save data. Thanks for that one. 
You can't sprint or jump in the tab screen anymore. So if you want to try and be efficient, check your loot and not die. You can't do that. Just got to go down walking pace. Uh, bolstering land unlock is just sit permanently flashing like it needs to be like checked that it's been discovered. So any like people out there that like to have their logbook clear, good luck with that. You have a big flashing new button there the entire stream now because you can't do anything else. False sun laser is also based off frame rate. So if you just if you're like me and it's for a new PC, if you look at false sun for like literally 0.2 of a second, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. And Halcyon beacons, this is a little one, but Halcyon beacons aren't colored properly anymore. If you hit them, they normally turn gold. Now they just sort of like mostly turn gold. And half of them is black still, but they're mostly gold. And then you're like, oh, well, maybe that, I thought like maybe that was like a cool like artistic choice for false sun no it's just the models didn't get replaced properly it just looks terrible and that was me after one stream one stream i did that that's what that's everything i found of one i'm going back in again today i don't know what i'm gonna to find today i'm sure i'll find a lot more and i'll be just as annoyed i i'm i know what's crazy is like i was so excited for this dlc i was so excited for this dlc i've i've i got like i prepared the entire like month around this and i was considering not playing the game today I was considering playing Dark Souls on the stream today because I was so annoyed and so sad at how this game came out. And I know there's people at Gearbox that care. I know there are. I'm in contact with people at Gearbox often. I'm talking to them. The people that I talk to care about this community. They genuinely care about this community. That's why they gave us keys. That's why they support us. That's why they work with us over at risk of resources. They care. The devs care. The artists care. Like, the people that made the game care, all right? And it would have been really good if they had more time. But there's somebody over there that doesn't care at all. And that's the person being like, you need to release this right now. I guarantee the people making this game didn't want it to be released. I guarantee they didn't want it to be released. Because they either, they, if they would have tested it, they would have tested it and be like, oh, this is clearly not ready. And then they just didn't have a choice. Like, it just, it just drives me crazy that as a community we give so much to this game and we love this game so much and now we've just been given a massive middle finger by gearbox saying give me 25 dollars and shut up thanks and i get that there are cool things about the dlc i love the art style i love the new characters like the stages are sick but <laughs> that is that is not enough glue to hold that hot mess together it's not that if it was just if i just looked at it aesthetically i'm like yes oh, chef's kiss amazing like they did such a good job aesthetically it's amazing like the soundtrack like chris obviously a gem love that guy but it's the <laughs> they just didn't have enough time to make it work it was just it's just falling apart and i just feel betrayed i just feel sad i'm just sad i'm sad for me it's like this game is my life dude this is my life. My, I, this is, the game is my living. I make a living off this game. But like, I feel sad for the community. I had to add a down patch command to my stream yesterday because everybody was down patching the game. Everyone was asking how to do it. Everyone was either down patching or refunding or both. Like, I, I don't want to look at what the Steam reviews are because I know they're going to be bad. They're going to be bad. And like, I'm, I just feel bad for everybody that cares. But I know how much I care and I know everyone else cares as much as I do. It just leaves me so, so defeated. I guess, uh, it sucks. It sucks. I can rant and I can rave, but like the main thing that it makes me feel is sad. It's just sad. Maybe we'll see a patch. Maybe we'll see a patch, but it doesn't change it. They can make it better. There's a way forward. They can fix the game. I don't know how they're going to fix their, their relationship with us though. I don't know how. I don't know how they're gonna fix the damage I've done to the community and the faith the community has in them. Like I'm never gonna defend Gearbox again. Like every time someone comes in the stream, like, oh well Gearbox is rubbish, blah blah blah. I'm like, yeah, they are. I just want you guys to know if anyone's thinking I'm spending money on it, don't. Don't buy it. Wait. Wait till the patch comes out and then maybe, maybe buy it. But right now, don't buy it. It's it breaks my heart to say that, dude. I have always loved growing this community, but like, I'm scared for people to buy it because they're just gonna hate it and I'll never play the game again. I feel like buying this will do more damage to the community than not buying it. Anyway, sorry. 
Sorry it's a bit negative. Sorry it's a bit of a downer. I'll still be releasing content. I'm going to make some guides for the characters. I'm going to go over all the, the, the items. I'm going to still make the content I want to make. But until it's patched, I don't know. Gearbox needs to do better. And they owe us an apology. Anyway, chat. Love you lots. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.